Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and as the National Director of the Apostleship of Prayer, a group dedicated to praying for and with the Pope, today's a special day. It's a feast called the Chair of St. Peter, and it's a day when we recall how Jesus told Peter that he was going to build his church on him, Peter, the rock, and that the gates of hell would not prevail against it. That can be found in Matthew chapter 16, and we know what a weak and unstable rock Peter was. After this scene in the gospel, he would deny that he even knew Jesus, and in fear he would abandon him in his hour of need. Clearly, any power to teach the truth and guide the church in a way in which the powers of evil would not prevail, clearly, this power is not human, but divine. It's the power of grace that Jesus gave to Peter. In a touching scene from Luke's description of the Last Supper, just before predicting that Peter would deny him, Jesus said to him, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has demanded to sift all of you like wheat, but I have prayed that your own faith may not fail, and once you have turned back, you must strengthen your brothers. That's the role of the Pope throughout history, to lead and to strengthen Christians in the true faith. Shortly after becoming Pope, Benedict said the following, the one who holds the office of the Petrine ministry must be aware that he is a frail and weak human being, just as his own powers are frail and weak, and is constantly in need of purification and conversion. With that in mind, let's offer a prayer today for Pope Benedict, that the Lord may strengthen him as he strengthened Peter, so that he, in turn, may strengthen us.